Well, I can't see made on that. Farts and farts and farts. Everyone's Mel's everyone's sleeping. sleeping. Yeah, Mel's well, a busy day. Yeah, We're out killing naked ladies. <laughs> right. Who had congenital heart failure and asthma, <sighs> thinking that it was a good idea to attack a settlement of three people hey. with guns. <laughs> well, technically, TJ doesn't have a gun, so. Technically, TJ does not have a gun. Now he's butchering that deer. Take that deer. And cream, because it's winter. And my hands hate me. Ugh. So we had a fun experience yesterday, didn't we, husband? Did we? I was actually speaking sarcastically in that we did not have a fun experience yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm not quite sure who had a fun experience yesterday. Not me. So... Saving. Saving. Where we live, the driveway up to our parking lot is a cement driveway but it's a hill pretty decent incline when don't you don't, i mean it's not like straight up but it's not super scary obnoxiously steep it is and of course we've had lots of snow and cold and snow and cold and then like the driveway like the parking area is gravel and we have a garage, so like we can park one car in a garage. We have a parking space next to the garage. We can park the other car. But the parking space is on an incline too, which is gravel. And it had war it warmed up a bit yesterday and the day before. But it also got cold. So it warmed up and it got cold and it warmed up and it got cold. And while the snow was mushy... There was still ice underneath the snow, but so the gravel was ice. And we couldn't get the one car out. It got stuck. What did, would you say it would took us this on the second attempt at least uh, what like a half hour or more to, to get the car out, unstuck out of the, out of the driveway? Yeah, so I made it to work just after 10.45, and I pretty much left the minute we got the car unstuck. And it only takes about 10 minutes to get to work. So it, we started it just before 10 o'clock, so it took us over half an hour. Yeah. And then I got out okay to go grocery shopping on the day off, and then got stuck coming back. It took me three goes to get up the driveway. I was very unhappy about it and then i didn't make it all the way into the garage because i got stuck because there was like a little dip before the cement slab of the garage and apparently i just i didn't i didn't it just i stopped apparently like i felt like i knew i had to keep going and not stop. I just had to right into the garage. And then I just didn't make it. So. Diva ended up putting the car away when he got home. <laughs> yes, I did. But by that time, the driveway had been shoveled finally. So it hadn't been shoveled for all three days of snow and ice and snow and cold. And it was okay because we were taking... A car in the garage but alas alack alas hopefully if we have another snow our landlords will be better prepared I, I don't know yet the problem is that it's a tough space right to do anything with in the first place unless you're like getting out and shoveling like for for the snow we got this last weekend, like he probably would have had to start shoveling 
like right before he went to bed and then mm. right away in the morning right and he he didn't <laughs> um because it's a pain in the butt and shoveling that driveway is a pain in the butt in general i did it once it's like screw that it's awful and then there's nothing you can do about the actual parking area because it's gravel so it's it's incredibly difficult to shovel right I mean, the whole the whole parking area is just not well thought out i feel mm, it is not i agree now do i need to designate this like an infirmary or yeah uh, you have to designate the beds to be medical so if you click on the beds boy you're building a lot of beds oh i was being oh medical yeah and then it'll turn the bed blue well that's fun do I have to wait till it's built for it to be designated? Nope. Uh, yes. I think okay. the bed has to be constructed. And then you want to build a light source in there so it's not dark. Whatever. I don't need power. Where is that? In furniture? Uh, lights are in furniture, yeah. And you'll have to run some power up that way. Right. So just like one lamp is plenty? Yeah. So I need power conduit. Yep. And just run it through the wall. And that should be plenty good. Underneath the door hey. or? Nope, right there is fine. Because remember things can connect from a pretty good distance. Oops. How do I get rid of that? <laughs> click on it and click cancel. Okay, so then I have, how do I, does it automatically hook up or I don't remember? Yeah, you don't have to worry about it. So the next thing we should do is probably build some coolers for the house. Right. Um, how do I do that? So for the bedrooms, because uh, we have those, yeah, and they're they're actually working pretty well. We may not have to. The only difference is that these use wood, right, to cool. But maybe we don't have to worry about it because they've been keeping those rooms at like sixty-two. How do we know that? If you mouse over it, it tells you the indoor temperature on the right side there. Oh, sixty-three. Oh, that's a nice Fahrenheit. temperature. Yeah. It's a little chilly, but they don't care. Okay, so. Um, but like our work rooms are a little warm. Oh and yeah. Once that... it passes a third, once it passes a certain threshold, it actually will affect uh, work speed. Right. Okay. okay. Um. So how do we so do the that? Easiest thing to do is we can start with a single cooler. So coolers are fun because they cool one side, but then they heat the opposite side, and so you can't put a cooler that vents into another room it has to vent outside so where are those under where do you think temperature correct so i hit the cooler or the vent so a vent is not anything but we'll get to the vent in a second so you want the cooler okay um and then in my opinion there are Do we put them outside think... or inside you put them in the wall. It's a wall cooler. Oh, okay. It's basically an air conditioner unit. Okay. Um, and then orient it so that the blue square is inside the house and the red square is outside the house. I hit the wrong button. So like that? I have two red squares. Uh, so you want to make sure that the blue square is inside the house and the red square is outside the house. Because the red square is where it's going to vent the heat. Okay. So and the green and the blue square is where it's going to vent the cool air. So like that? Uh, as long as it's positioned Farts. on a wall. So it's a window unit, remember? 
So it has to go in the wall, not on some random spot. I know. I have it in a wall. The red part's out. Then you're good to go. So I'm, I should be worried about Snickle Fritz. The stop pressing the wrong button. Okay, so I should be concerned about this inner, the workroom first, right? So we can vent cool air from one room to another. So don't worry about that just yet. Just get the cooler placed. E. Okay. Where did you just place that? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> right here is where I want to put it. What? Do, what is it? Right click or left click? So are you putting it somewhere where the? Yeah. So left click places things. Left click always places things. Both the hot and cold sides of the cooler must be exposed. I don't understand what that means. Did you try to put it in the wall, or did you try to put it in the little space in the middle of nowhere? I thought you said the blue part had to be in the wall and the red no, part. No. Blue part has to be in the room. You didn't say that. And the, I did. You did not. Because it's a window unit. It has to sit in the wall. The unit has to sit in the wall. Okay, so I just did that. <laughs> okay, so they'll build that there. So then the next step is you want to vent the cool. Oh my god. Ducks join. How did we get ducks? That's a lot of ducks. Where are they? They're wandering in from the bottom right. That's a lot of ducks. Where? I don't see them. Bottom right. Oh, why do we need so many ducks? We don't. Oh, they just joined the, the area? No, they joined our colony. They're oh. our pets now if we want them to be. Can we eat them? We absolutely can eat them. That seems like a smarter idea than to have them use resources. So if you, I'm going to pause the game real quick. If you double click on one of the ducks, mm -hmm. it'll highlight all of them. Okay. And then you can slaughter them. Oh, well, should we keep some of them? Do they make eggs? I mean, like, like a duck house. Uh, do ducks lay eggs? I mean, I'm assuming they lay eggs, but I don't know if they lay eggs that are usable. I don't know. Humans can eat and cook with duck eggs. I mean, it would make sense. They do it with all kinds of animal eggs. But, like, I don't know how often that happens. Well, where would that information be stored? I'm looking at it. But it doesn't say. Health. Operations. It grows quick, but lays eggs quite rarely. Oh, where is that information? Under the I for information. Oh. Vegetables, seeds, live plants, meals, processed foods, liquor. The ducks drink liquor? I mean, they they will. <laughs> Revenge chance on tame? Nope. So I would suggest just killing them all. If you want to keep like a male and a female, you can do that. You can raise some ducks. Okay, how do I do that? Uh, if you want to just kill all of them, double click one of them. And it'll select all of them. Okay. And I use click slaughter. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I mean, you can unclick two of them. Just hold down shift and click. It will unselect them. And then just okay. kill the rest. I don't like this game. <laughs> I 
does make for some difficult choices. I don't like it. I don't want to make them. <laughs> Disagree. I mean, we could just keep them until a trader comes by and we could sell them. Fine. We just don't have the resources yet to... Although our first corn harvest is going to be in a couple days. So what happens when they get to the colony? Someone just kills them? Uh, I mean, when it's when someone gets to that priority on their list. Oh, yeah. right. Oh. Which will be TJ. He's heading out. Oh. Sanders bringing back another deer. Those ducks are rigid. Clean up in the. This <laughs> duck <kitchen>. is. Just... Ah, <laughs> oh, it's funny. She has to eat. Yep, and I'm gonna tell her to clean the kitchen. It looks a little messy. What's this duck doing? Is it just gonna help itself to the what's ever in the freezer? Probably. I mean, we could tell him to not do that if we wanted to. It's weird. It's weird. This game is weird. <laughs> okay, so we have an infirmary. Now what? Oh, Sandra and TJ are having special time. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tell these ducks to close off. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. How do you do that? Just confine them to a certain area? Yeah. yeah so there's the the tab that says um, under zones. Um. You can expand allowable area, mm -hmm. so I'm just creating an allowable area that does not include the the fridge. Or the kitchen? No, they can be in the kitchen, that's fine. Not sanitary. Do you not want ducks in the kitchen? I don't want ducks in the kitchen. Oh! oh. Ducks join. Uh -oh. Wanderer nope. joins. Ollie! You need to clear those messages. <laughs> oh, how do I get rid of ducks join? Just right click it. A biosphere manager named Ollie has arrived and is joining the colony. He's willing to contribute but will not leave voluntarily. If you don't want Ollie, you can banish him. Sell him into slavery? What? Yes. <laughs> or simply kill him. However, your other colonists may find this disturbing. <laughs> you think? Oh, Ollie needs some clothes. He's a little naked. Yeah, they get real. Oh my god, he is awful. <laughs> Yeah. He is incapable of dumb labor, cooking, violence, or crafting. So he can do plants and animals. That's his job. <laughs> well, that's okay. He's also neurotic, but he's a hard worker, so that's something. Oh. All right, so we just got a new colonist. I paused the game. So we need to make a room for him? Um. So we need to do two things. One, we need to make a room for him. And then two, more importantly, we need to assign him on the work Okay, so where's the work table? Work. It's the work Ollie. Tab. Okay. So firefight should always be a one. Patient should always be a two. Um, he should never be a doctor, so we'll leave that blank. Okay, bed rest. <laughs> Put bed rest at a two. So he only really has like one job, so he's he can his basic can be very high. So a four. Uh, four is the lowest. Oh, so one. One is the highest, yeah. Warden? Um, no. He is, has zero skill in wardening. He is a good handler, so he can tame, train, and slaughter animals. So that should probably be his number one priority, since it's like the only thing he can do. Oh, okay. He is bad at constructing, so he should not be a constructor. So three is good, or four? Remove it completely. I don't, I don't want him trying to build stuff. Okay. Grow? Grow should be number one because he's our he's our second best grower, but he's going to become our best grower. Okay, mine. Um, two. He is awful at mining, so we'll we'll sort of bump him down from there. 
two. So I would make his mining a four. Remember that you can right click and the numbers I go know, backwards. I know, thank you. Plant cutting should be the same as growing. Okay, art. Um, Need that plank. Art is bad. <laughs> research. Uh, four I mean, out of 20. A research of four, but I don't want him taking up Lloyd's spot on the research table. So zero? Yeah. So zero okay good good so he's gonna be our grower and cutter uh and handler so he's gonna start murdering ducks here in a second oh <laughs> um i'm gonna make his room is that okay yeah that's fine because the first thing he's gonna do is go into the storage and start putting on other people's clothes He's also missing his right hand. It has a simple prosthetic hand. Boy, he gets like the king suite, huh? Well, for other people, he'll end up sharing a room. That's oh, my Colin, it's still thought. Like that. What, sharing a room? Yeah. They get grumpy if they share rooms. Oh, so I make his room smaller? How do I... I think mostly it bothers me that you're not trying to make the the rooms uniform. <laughs> well, I'm I'm just adding on to what's already there. So there's a door yes. here, and he can come in here. Right. Still, the room is so much bigger than the other two. Oh my god. Just make a little four by whatever room. No, the your height was fine. We just make it four open tiles, and then it'll be the same as everyone else's. Like this? Yeah, and then go up and just connect it to the wall there. Good? Good. Well, all he got here, he put on a cowboy hat, and now he's going to go mine. Naked? Mm -hmm. Yep. There he goes. <sighs> Why are, you, why are you mining? There's so much else to do. There's a million ducks that need to be slaughtered and he's mining. Well, you know. Naked. In the rain. But he's got a cowboy hat, so... She's not totally naked. Not totally <sighs> naked. He also does have pants. This is actually my least favorite way of people joining the colony. When they just appear? Saving. Yeah. Can we make him put clothes on? You can, but they get grumpy about it. Oh, until they're ready to wear clothes? We also don't have any shirts, so we need to actually make some. Oh, so I have to go to the workbench? Yep. Make a new bill to make a uh, either a t-shirt or a button-down shirt. I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same. Make a t-shirt? Just one? Yeah. We, don't, we have pants in there, so we don't need anything else? Correct. Um, well, you should probably make him a duster as well. Because we still got another nine days of summer, and I don't know how hot it's going to be in the fall. Okay. Should I make a place for the ducks? I mean, most of them should be going away shortly. Alright, so... Standard just built the cooler. Okay. So, the thing about the coolers is if you select the cooler... Okay. You can change the temperature controls on it. Oh, right on. Um, and generally, you want to keep it between 60 and 70. So I like I turned it down to 64. Just for okay. Me. 
So we already did that. Um, yeah. So the next thing we want to do is we want to build vent. a vent between the party room and the work room. So I'll click on vent. Yep. Right over here. And it just yep, and then it just goes in the wall, and then just make sure the two squares are in the rooms you want to share temperature. Okay. Do I need to make um, a? And then we also want to do that in the bedrooms because we have two passive coolers going right now, and we don't need to build a third one. So I can make another vent. So do not vent from the workroom into the bedrooms. Vent from the bedrooms into the other bedrooms. Right. Okay. Perfect. And then vent the new bedrooms into each other. Oh, right on. Perfect. What? <laughs> Sander grabbed enough wood to build one floor tile and then had to go back to get more wood. Well, sure. That sounds about right. Did Isabel leave? She take her bone or Zero chewing on Isabel's bone? Zero has two bones. Why do you have both bones, dog? Probably because Isabel left. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Zero's happy. I remember to put that dental fluoride stuff in their water this morning. So I figured they'd be chewing on bones today, so. Oh, Ollie's going to be pissed. Why? Because he's sleeping outside. <laughs> Why is he sleeping outside? I don't know. Do I have to tell him where to sleep? No, you just have to build him a bed. Oh, well, that's what they're doing. Now, you could have converted one of the medical beds into his bed, but it's fine now. Well, you didn't tell me that. I did not tell you that. You are correct. I I did I wouldn't I didn't know. Oh, I have to. Can I rearrange his bed? I didn't see that I did that. You just have to reinstall it. So click on it and click reinstall, and then just flip it around. Because what sort of monster puts the head of the bed in the middle of the room? Oh man, we need to make him a duster, quick. Heat wave. So that that noise you heard was a heat wave. Right, so what do I do? Well, nothing, but make sure that he's, that you make, you're making a duster. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Then there's not much we can do. But that means it's going to get like hot, like 110, between 110 and 120 degrees hot. Should I make him stay inside? Um, probably. How do I do that? No, he'll be okay. Don't just go in here. What are you doing? I'm moving him because he's dumb. Well, <sighs> now I can, and you will just eat. Because he was like, with well, one thing that I absolutely hate mm -hmm. uh, that the colonists do is like, if he's within moving range of a table, he will still eat outside. And it's like, why did you just eat outside? Can I assign him to his bed? You can. How do I do that again? Click on the bed. Okay. What do you think you do from there? Set owner. Correct. Also, don't forget to build the light in his room. Oh, right. Well, there goes the team and alpaca. Do I need to run power over there, or is it fine? No, it's more than close enough. Oh, well, it should be. I mean, we'll find out. If they build it and it doesn't connect, you'll just have to build a couple more power conduits. Well, that's good. I guess I should get him some more furniture. Yeah. Oh, 
more furniture. Laughter dog. Ollie successfully tamed an alpaca. Well, that was a lot faster than the other one. Yeah. Doing. Actually helping. And, and he is now alpaca one. Well, if we have Wanda alpaca. We should have a vision alpaca. Oh, we have a vision alpaca. Are you naming it vision? No, you can you can name him. That's Wanda. Where's the alpaca? Minor break risk. Yeah, Ollie's mad about life. Oh, where's the alpaca? The easiest way to to find him is to click on the animals tab, and he is alpaca one. Let me just click on the his name in the tab. Where? Now. Where what? You have him selected. I do. Where do it's I? The, it's the animal. It's a little square around him. I know. I'm asking you what cargo pods. Where do I change his name? In the same place you changed it the last time. Oh my God, Jason. Under training. Oh, well, I just hit a. St what am I doing? Nobody knows. Ah, least of all me. I mean, you should probably keep, keep clicking things you don't know what they do. That, that works out great. I'm gonna click <laughs> you. There. <laughs> Our alpacas are named Wanda and Vision. You have detected a cluster of cargo pods crashing nearby. Perhaps you'll find something useful in the wreckage. What did the cargo pods bring us? A bunch of rice. So go click on view location. I already did. Um, and then you can see what they dropped. If you just double click on them, it'll highlight all of them. And then okay. you can click allow. And someone will hustle down here and... Pick them up. Pick them up. Pick them up. Pick it up. Pick it up. I don't think oh. so, dog is not capable of dumb labor. That sucks. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. He's so useless and he can't clean or haul. But he trained that alpaca pretty quick. But he trained the alpaca. Yes, he did. You can wait till we're done. I know. Everybody has their place. All these places to... <laughs> I have no idea. Well, he can pick stuff and grow stuff. He still doesn't put on pants or a shirt. He, he cannot fix stuff because he's incapable of dumb. I labor. said plant stuff and pick stuff. Oh, pick stuff. I said fix stuff. No. Yep, plants are really literally the only thing he can do. Well, he he just now has clothing to put on. I have on, to so wait. Maybe he'll him. actually do I'm it. I'm sorry. Okay, you need to take him off mining because. He's mining again. What, what do I need to do? To kill. Take him off mining. Go to work. Take him off of mining. It's, it's a four. Why is he yeah. doing that? It's not even a priority for him. I don't know. Maybe it's because he doesn't have a weapon, but he won't. Oh, that's stupid. What? I bet he won't do it because he's incapable of violence. What? To kill he, won't the... kill, he won't kill the ducks because he is incapable of violence. Oh, what an absolutely useless character! Well, never mind. Put him back on friggin' mining duty because what else is he gonna do? Who's our other handler? Who has heat stroke? Ollie has heat stroke. Ollie probably. Yeah. What do I do? Because he's because he's an idiot and hasn't put on anything yet. Nothing yet. Ollie's idol. Yeah, Pete is useless. <laughs> we did watch a little of BlizzCon last night. We did. That was kind of exciting, right? That was pretty exciting. Oh, she's shooting the turkey. Yeah, get that turkey. 
Don't you shoot our llama. Or alpaca, not llama. Tina, come get some ham. <laughs> Fantastic movie. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. Yeah, it's 122 degrees out, dude's just like mining away. Is he mining again? Yep. <sighs> okay. This turkey is on the move. Research finished. Solar panels. What else? So we did. So we have a couple choices. We can move on to like microelectronics, or we can do like biofuel refining. Don't we want to move to geothermal? We do eventually. It's just a lot more research points to get to geothermal. So what so do we need? It just depends if we want to try to research some other stuff first, or if we just want to go straight for geothermal. I'm fine with either. So what would be the benefit of uh, microelectronics right now? Nothing. You might you don't want to do microelectronics yet. So what was your other suggestion? Because we can do like sterile materials so we can get a oh. sterile floor in the hospital or right in the on. infirmary. You can do biofuel refining, which gives us the biofuel generator. What about hydroponics? Hydroponics is also useless to us. Because okay. we're, we're, we're in an area where we can grow stuff. Hydroponics is mostly useful in either super hot or super cold okay. environments. Sterile materials. Sounds good. Sandra is chasing this turkey forever. Oh, no. <laughs> there she goes. So what cool things did you learn about your... You were watching stuff about Burning Crusade? What cool things did you learn about Burning Crusade? Um, I'm very happy that they're not. So the when Classic when Classic WoW first came out, like everyone got super weird about hashtag no changes, which is a cool idea where they were just not going to change anything about the game. Mm. Like they wanted it to be as as close to a real like the real class experiences they could. Um, the problem with that became uh, that there were a lot of weird things about classic that didn't work and were not particularly balanced. Um, and things that were like very obvious back, or not very obvious back then because we didn't know any better, but are very <laughs> obvious now. Um, one of them is like, for example, a concept called spell batching. Mm -hmm. which is where because of how the code worked and because of how the internet was back when WoW first came out um, the way that the servers handled spells is it would take like whatever your character was doing in little chunks of moments mm -hmm. and then execute them all at the same time Oh. Um, and, and by chunks of moments I mean like quarters of a second Mm -hmm. So it wasn't a long time, um, but it, it allowed for some fun things like if two mages were casting polymorph at each other, there's a situation where even if they didn't cast at the same time, they could polymorph each other, even though that shouldn't be possible. Like one of them should have gone first, right? Oh, right on. Um, but because of spell batching, one of them could have started casting almost a quarter of a second later, and it would they would both still go off. Um, and they're getting rid of that because spell batching hasn't been a thing for like four expansions. Um, because it was it was a product of the time, right? It was a product of necessity, not a product of we want this cool thing to happen, right? Um, and so like things like that's or that's going away and so they're they're gonna do some like improvements that i feel are are what they should have done in classic but they didn't because people were weird mm -hmm. for to make a better gameplay experience which is what they should do yes which to me is the whole point <laughs> hey He's wearing. A I know. Shirt. He's and, and, and a, duster. a duster. Is he wearing? He's wearing pants. Go. He is. Well, he came with pants. Did he? Yeah. Oh. Q. 
Cue me. It's me, a yawner. I was excited about the character announcement for Diablo 4. That was interesting. The rogue. assassin? The rogue. rogue. No. So it's a, you know, a handful of throwback to Diablo 1, the original rogue lady character. And they were talking, it's um, kind of obviously a combination of the rogue, the assassin, and the demon hunter. So she has both bow and crossbow skills along with sword and dagger skills. That And she can switch between the two. So I think like like Diablo 4 is what it's offering is a lot more customization. You know, like how you spent like the first hour playing cyberpunk, you were making your character. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that's what you're going to be able to do in Diablo 4. You're going to be able to create specifics about the character, like aesthetic specifics, like hair color, eye color, um, tattoos, no tattoos, stuff like that. All of the things you will do and then immediately cover it all with armor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, so the four characters we currently have for Diablo 4 are the Rogue, the Sorceress is back, Barbarian is back, and um, the Druid. And I say back, like, like, the Barbarian never left. Like in Diablo 3... We still had a barbarian, but instead of a sorceress, we had a wizard. I feel like it's just semantics a little bit, don't you? A little bit. Um, I wonder if that means what they're if they're gonna bring the the fifth class. I would bet you will either be the necromancer or the paladin. Oh. Slash crusader, whatever. Those stupid ducks are sleeping in the pet beds. I know. And my my other, I was like, why is the the my donkey and my alpaca <laughs> in the middle of the room there because the vision sleeping in the cooler why is vision sleeping in the cooler <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> do i need more pet beds until these ducks go away no they should go away well you need at least two more anyway for the ducks for the two ducks that were keeping. oh shall i should put another one in the other room Ducks. I put another sleeping spot in Ollie's room. Everybody snooze doodling. Do you think it's either going to be a necromancer or a paladin? Who is visiting in the middle of the night? Some Randy McRandom. A low-wage worker from Theodora is visiting the colony. She is named Dahlia Morrison. She seems to have a few items to trade. She is neutral. Saving. Saving. But she has a gun. Does have a gun. Disabled. Cannot order characters. Oh, right. She's a tortured artist. She's a cult child, a low-wage worker, capable of intellectual traits, tortured artists, volatile. Can we kidnap oh, her? God. She's got some Luciferium on her person. Yikes. What's that? Luciferium is a drug that um, it increases all of a pawn's stats for an amount of time. Mm -hmm. Um. So it's it's like pretty good for what it does. Like it, it increases your stats by a lot. Uh -huh. Um and the uh withdrawal symptoms are death. Oh. So once you start taking it <laughs> you have to keep taking What's it. That? There's a mega sloth up here. Oh, mega sloths are so good. What, what Where is he? All the way up in the corner. Oh, there he is. Maybe we should try to tame him. What's he good for? Haul and stuff? He can haul and uh, he's a good protector as well. They're very strong. We will tame him. 
Just be careful because he gets he can get kind of nasty. Okay. Well, if he kills Ollie, I'm not going to be sad about it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I wasn't going to say it, but. <laughs> <laughs> but I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we assimilate this girl? Is she worth assimilating? Um, I mean, she has a gun. So, like, if we try to take her prisoner, like, oh. she'll shoot at us. Plus, tortured artist and volatile just seem awful. <laughs> what are her needs? Extremely low expectations. That's great. Yeah, but she gets the tortured artist debuff and the volatile debuff. So she's so just the. So if you click on needs, okay. If you see the mood, yeah, the mood. Little mood bar. Yeah. You see the little pips, like the three little pips. Uh huh. Those are the mental break thresholds. Oh. And so if you're looking at her, mm -hmm. um, click on like Lloyd. Okay. And do you see how those pips are farther to the left? Oh, right on. That means that his mood can get a lot lower before he hits those mental break thresholds. Oh, she cannot. And she'll just get... She'll just have a breakdown way before anyone else does. No bueno. On the bright side, being a tortured artist means that after she's done having a mental break, she usually gets some sort of inspiration. <laughs> oh, well, good. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. Oh, we need someone to clean... This is why I don't mind getting that, like, one or two useless characters. Because then you can have him clean. But but Ollie won't even do that. No. Incapable of violence. <laughs> incapable of dumb labor. Like, how... What What? Are you, what good are you? I mean, he's done a lot of mining. <laughs> he has done a lot of mining. Because he has literally nothing else to do. You're supposed to be taming that... Mega Sloth. I wonder if his skill is high what? enough. What? Did I just put a pet? What is this? What is what? Oh, a party spot. Because, oh, for their wedding. Did they get married? Did I miss that event? Oh. Yeah, so you can't. We can't tame the Mega Sloth because it requires a 10 in animals. Oh. And Ollie only has a 9. Well, farts on him. <sighs> But we could get his animal handling up by allowing him to train the donkey. So if you go to, if you click on the animals tab. Okay. You see all those red X's? Yep. Each of those columns represents something. Um, guard. From left, from left to right, it's guard, attack, attack rescue, rescue, and haul. Okay. Um, so we're not particularly worried about the donkey attacking things. But that we should awesome. probably train the donkey how to haul and how to rescue. Okay, so what do I do? So click those little X's and turn them to check marks. Why did yep. it... Because you have guard. to... Guard? Guard is automatic. Okay. You have to learn guard to learn anything else. Um, Apparently there's we can... not really a reason to train the alpacas. To attack? To haul. <laughs> we could We could train a herd of attack alpacas. <laughs> That's fantastic. The ducks are useless. The ducks are useless. They will give us eggs and more ducks. Maybe. What are we building? All right, we seem to be down to two ducks. Who's been killing the ducks? Oh, I reassigned TJ. Oh. I'll put it back up to a three. Just because I wanted the freaking ducks dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's building the um, pool table. I was like, what the age is going on? Who's building something? Oh, because we just had our first cloth harvest. That's why. I thought we weren't allowing ducks in the refrigerator. I allowed those two, just because they're the oh. ones we want to keep. Okay. Um. Right, we were talking about... Oh, the classes for Diablo 4. Yeah. 
But the gameplay looks interesting. The only thing that I am leery of is PvP, because I don't like that. That's not my jam. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that plays and how how mandatory it is. Well, that and the open world thing is something brand new for Diablo in general. Right? Kind of. They Well, they're sort of taking like the... Well, yeah, it is. It is. Um, kind of, sort of. I mean, of. They're, they're taking the concept from Diablo 3 and just expanding upon it. Well, yeah. And I think it's interesting that they're going to have character-specific quests. So, like, if you want to do the rogue quest, you have to have a rogue. But you can yeah. still do, like, open, like, the standard stuff, the storyline stuff, right? And the, the side quest and whatever. But, like, in order to do the rogue quest, you have to create a rogue character. Yeah. I think that's interesting. And the mount part is, you know, a new addition. I think that's interesting. It's just, it's much, I don't know. I, I uh, It'll be interesting. Of course, we won't see this game for another five years, so yeah right so i always think it's interesting when they start talking about games this far out from production yeah i think it's dangerous because it sets expectations well yeah because even when we were playing diablo 3 in beta a lot changed from beta to to launch yeah so and a lot of it was good like i i there weren't a lot of changes that i didn't like yeah i mean the I... only one that made me sort of sad was the companion stuff yeah and they they eventually brought brought it back but yeah in a different sense a different iteration saving saving but the other thing that's interesting that nobody asked for was the the updating of diablo 2 I think that's interesting. It's a smart move on their part because when Diablo three came out, a bunch of people just whined and crabbed about oh it. Oh my gosh, what just butts? Um, We've talked about that before, and I think that's just like really like what are you complaining about? Yeah, and so this is this is absolutely what Blizzard should have done because it's it's what people claim to want. <laughs> but why? Like the things that I really like about Diablo three. Like, I, I I don't miss Diablo 2. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and that's, you know, Diablo 2 was a game, and it had good things and bad things. and Just like Diablo yeah. 1 was a game, and it had good things and bad things. And we played Diablo 1, and it's hard. Diablo 1 is a terrible game, but it was revolutionary at the time, and it was fantastic at the time compared well, yeah. to what everything else was. Like, it was an amazing game for its... its uh, time yes same with diablo 2 diablo 2 was an amazing game for its time yeah no i definitely we, i mean when we started dating we um played together and it's i think a lot of what it does because this is something that diablo 3 is not very good at is diablo 2 gives you a much longer um path to have something to do yeah because in diablo 3 like your goals are pretty written out right like you're you, need uh, to... you start out you do your your seasonal stuff you get your first set um you start you know do the rest of the chapter stuff you do the conquest stuff and then you start pushing rifts like that's right. your and you can accomplish all of that in a in a relatively short amount of time like if you're casual like us you know 20 to 30 hours right. is the point where you're you know pretty much done and you're pushing rifts if that's what you want to do didn't i relocate Diablo... sorry didn't i relocate no, this no you just you you were waiting for it to be built okay so now i have to so now you can relocate it to the game room reinstall And then you should probably just put chairs around the chess table. Right on. And now that we have cloth, we need to set up... Uh, or we need to make toques and parkas for the winter. You're a toque. We need someone to clean, because there's... 
what I'm assuming is... Sandra is, is cleaning. Well, she's constructing right now, is... but when she's done constructing, Well, there's like... I'm assuming it's duck blood everywhere. Do you see all that? Yeah, she cleaned the, the fridge and the work area and the other area. Well, why is she the one cleaning? Is because she's a lady? Why aren't the dudes doing it? I mean, you can set cleaning to be a higher priority for everyone. That's fine. Where do I do that? In the work schedule? Under the work schedule. If you want cleaning to be a higher priority, just click it up to be a higher priority. A two? Sure. Like guinea pigs around. We could raise a bunch of attack guinea pigs. Why? Why not? Alexandra's mm -hmm. oh, done for the day. I like how she's sleeping in her cowboy hat. But they need a dresser. They also need to build another chair at the table. Why? So that if four people need to eat, four people have places to sit. Oh, you mean at the food table? Yeah. I How was like, I thought you were talking about the chest, and I was like, I just built friggin' <laughs> stuff there. <laughs> Only two people can play chess at a time. What else can I put in this game room? Uh, you could put a, a poker table. Poker table, if you wanted to. But I would say a higher priority right now is using that cloth to make parkas. Oh, sorry. Just because I don't, I mean, what are you apologizing for? I was apologizing to the colonists that they don't get a poker oh, table. They don't get a poker table. Okay. Bills? So you make four toques and four parkas. Took you. Depending on how cold it gets, it just sort of depends on... Oh, that's like a hat? Yeah, the toque is a hat. Add bill. Make toque. Make parka? Yep. That's and then you zero? want to make four of each. Okay. Everybody's sleeping. Are there enough beds for everybody? Is there an animal sleeping where they shouldn't be? Duck. Vision's hanging out outside. What? Is he hanging out outside? Because there's not enough sleeping spots. Ugh. Oh, Sandra's up again. There, I made another sleeping spot in Lloyd's room. Man, my girl Sandra doesn't waste any time. Nope. She's up and up and working. Up and working and getting the day going. I wish I had her motivation, but it's Saturday and the most <laughs> I've done already is make brunch. Yeah, I think that's all you need to do. Saving. Saving. It is getting to be about that time. So we'll be wrapping up our Saturday stream. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow to Diva. What are you going to be streaming? Some more Isaac? Probably some more Isaac. So we'll be playing some Isaac. You can catch him Sunday noon to 2 or noon to 3, however long he feels like playing. Um... So that's tomorrow. You can always check us out on YouTube. We'll post videos Tuesdays and Thursdays. You can check other episodes of other games that I played because Pepper Plays is all about me playing new video games that I've never played before. And this is a new video game I've never played before. And I like it. It's fun. Um, what else? Oh, please don't forget to be responsible human beings and wear your mask when you're out in public. We are still in the midst of a pandemic that is still killing people every day. Every day, killing people. Uh, so wear your mask over your nose and your mouth because 
those things are both connected to your lungs. And since this is, you know, a lung-based disease, maybe you should <laughs> wear a mask over both your nose and your mouth. Just a thought. But, you know, wear a mask, stay home, social distance, and wash your hands. Those are all four simple things you can do to help stop the spread of COVID-19. Which, again, is still happening. <laughs> Even though people are starting to get vaccinated, these are not reasons to stop doing these things. Right? Yep. That's what we're doing. We stay home. We go grocery shopping. We go to work. Yep, that, that's all we do. It's very exciting. So, yeah. So we will leave you all there as our colonists continue to, you know, carry about their day. And continue not cleaning. Right? Why isn't anyone cleaning? There's like duck blood everywhere. Ugh. Gross. Anyway, I hope you all have a great rest of your Saturday and stay safe out there. <laughs> what? TJ just pounded out those dukes. Oh, yeah. Oh, what else? Oh, he's got two. No, oh, he's got four. Hey, he made all four. Nice. It's like, screw it. This is what I'm doing today. Making parkas now. I think we only have enough cloth for two parkas. Oh. Which is okay. It's okay. Yeah. So, we yeah. Get one more harvest out of the cotton. Oh, nice. Before winter? Yeah. Yeah. And on that note, uh, thanks for tuning in. Stay safe out there. Stay home. Social distance. Wear a mask. Wash your hands. Until, uh, you know, tomorrow when it's just Diva. We'll see you hopefully next Saturday. Tune in. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>